could Prince William really miss baby Sussex's arrival? The birth of a child is a huge event for a family. It's not abnormal for the entire extended family to wait at the hospital until the child is born. And even though the royal family follows a different set of rules than the average person, you'd expect they would still have the same desires to welcome a new baby to the family. Even if the family is not at the hospital, the assumption would be that Prince William and his wife would want to at least be in the same country when their first niece or nephew is born. But recent events and scheduling make even that uncertain. The palace just announced William will be visiting New Zealand. Kensington Palace just released a statement saying that Prince William will be traveling New Zealand to visit the victims of the tragic terrorist attack earlier this month. The prince will be visiting the country in late April. The visit comes at the request of New Zealand's Prime Minister, Jacinda Ardern. Prince William will visit on behalf of the Queen. Some may question why the Queen herself is not attending, but the Queen has previously said that she will no longer travel by plane. At 92, the Queen simply does not feel comfortable with this mode of transportation any longer. The Prime Minister's request comes after the country's biggest terrorist attack in history. On March 15, 2019, 50 people were killed when gunmen entered two mosques, shooting people inside. Prince William and Kate Middleton joined Prince Harry and Meghan Markle to make a statement to support the victims of the attack. The group said in part, Our hearts go out to the families and friends of the people who lost their lives in the devastating attack in Christ Church. We have all been fortunate to spend time in Christ Church and have felt the warm, open-hearted and generous spirit that is core to its remarkable people. No person should ever have to fear attending a sacred place of worship. Prince Harry's baby is due in late April. The royal couple has not released an official due date for their baby, but most people estimate that the baby will arrive sometime in late April or early May. The royal family usually keeps pretty quiet about the details surrounding the births in their family, so we can expect that there we won't know when baby Sussex is coming until he or she is actually here. One of the biggest clues to when Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's baby will arrive is Markle's work schedule. The Duchess made her last public appearance a few weeks ago and does not have another event scheduled until late October. This would lead us to believe that the late April-slash-early May guess is about right. If the baby is born in late April, this could mean that Prince William may be out of the country when the baby is born. It seems unlikely that the Prince would forgo this visit given the nature of the events in New Zealand. This isn't the first scheduling conflict for Prince William. Prince William has had to deal with scheduling conflicts when it comes to big events in his brother's life before. Last year, the prince was supposed to attend FA Cup final as president of the England Football Association. But the finals were scheduled for the very same day that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle were to get married. William chose to attend his brother's wedding instead of the finals. If it comes down to it, we can only imagine how difficult a decision it will be to choose where to be at the end of April. What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to get instant news update.